Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for um, the Libran Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember to cross watch. It is a lucky month for you, um, Librans, because what is happening is that this month is a month of healing, but it's also a month of positive alignment from energies for you, Librans wonderful positive situations is going to be coming in for you Libran so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you Libran's are going to be have a good month of September so let's uh, go in and check out what is going to be um, the energies in the weeks that is coming up for you Libran's it is going to be a positive alignment from energies I want to say thank you and please like share these videos thank you for all the positive energies and all the positive feedbacks please remember to use the link below to order your on demand and it is going to be wonderful please like and share us and um, let me know how this is going so for the Libra Sun Moon and Rising Sun for the month of September we're calling on the angels and guides to show us the message for the Libra Sun Moon and Rising Sun so for the Librans in the first week we have transformation we have debt this energy of debt and transformation that is coming up in the week it has to do with a scorpion or a cancer some of you have to understand that the energy vibrations is changing um, you definitely need to know where you are what situations are happening for you guys whatever the energy of transformation comes up uh, this is the energy of changes that is coming up for you and a cancer so if you are in a relationship with you and a cancer or there is just situations that are happening you're coming in in September with positive energy the wheel of fortune is here this is wonderful for you guys whatever the situation is fortune is on your side so in the second week it's a fire energy fortune is on your side so this is a really really good for you liberals in the third week you have the energy of uh, the ending a crash um, you have some trickeries you're dealing with an Aries some trickeries some fear is in the third week you have to be understanding of the people around you you have to understand what is transpiring that is the energy of a fire energy so be aware of this victory and success is here so um, you liberals are going to be releasing yourself from a very tricky situation you're coming out on top and this is going to be good the second week and the last week the fourth week is going to be good this month has four weeks and this is going to be a very positive alignment from, from energy so we're seeing transformation that is coming in the wheel of fortune is going to be carrying and bringing in a lot of positive energies for you liberals um, the trickery whatever trickery there was with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to be victorious over this energy the wheel of fortune it is karma and it is destined for something that is going to be happening in the second week okay so let's see what is happening for the transition what is transpiring in your life so you liberals that is in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius 45 years and older there is an ending um, to this person there is a transition between you and this person and as this person re release out of your life there is going to be positive alignment of energies that is coming in this is a fire person this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is there is definitely a transformation that is coming in for him now the center of your reading the center of your month is uh, the wheel of fortune is going to bring you some money you liberals so whether you liberals or the wheel of fortune is definitely going to bring you a lot of money now this money is coming in but there was some trickery before and it's as if the wheel of fortune your spirit guides and angel realize what has been transpiring and what has been playing and what has blocked your financial stability and it's all about money in this month for you liberals especially um, situations at work some of you are dealing with an Aries on the work floor this person is very tricky this person create fears and illusion but you are going to be victorious over the situation some of you could be um, receiving in the last week message of a new car um, this could be a car from work a work car a car is coming in so um, there is movement with work some of you could be receiving a new job at the end of the month we are dealing in the second week with a wheel of fortune some of you are dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man 
this one is 45 years and older is in the reverse form because of an issue that you were dealing with this person and an Aries Leo Sagittarius now these two persons are in the reverse form whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is these two persons are in the reverse form these two persons could have been blocking your financial stability whoever they are the wheel of fortune is removing a Pisces cancer or a scorpion out of your life now you have the energy of um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman now some of you this person is very tricky okay this person brings fears in other people life and it's very tricky this person is someone of the work floor on the work floor that you're dealing with okay whoever this tricky person is and whatever trickiness you are seeing both of these people these people could have been in business these people could be working in alignment but they are very very tricky and um, especially this woman you are going to be victoriously and successful over this woman with a work situation at the end of the day you're protecting yourself you're standing your grounds and you are standing up against inequality injustice and equality and this is going to be good so whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is between these two people they are 45 years and older they are Taurus Virgo there is Pisces cancer and scorpion Whoever these people are, you're standing your grounds against these people. And this is going to be wonderful because what is transpiring is that you're saying, hey, um, no more, no more. So whoever you liberants are, you're seeing the truth um, about an issue with a, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And this Aries Leo and Sagittarius has been working with two persons. And these two persons is uh, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. So remember, this is a general reading. Please go check out and use the link below to check out your on demand um, to find out who are these people because it's in the extended reading so use the link below um, this video to find out so what I'm seeing here is that um, the, the, the the first week um, it's all about money it's all about money money is going to get good okay the wheel of fortune is going to bring you money and if you had a legal issue at work with a Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to be win winning and you're going to be winning big so the ace of Pentacles is all about a new start to your financial stability all about a new start to your financial stability this is um really really wonderful there is some trickery on the work on the work floor um, if you have to um, work with an Aries there is some trickery with some money this is a younger person this is a um, someone between the ages of 18 and 45 okay so we're looking some of you are dealing with a scorpion and the scorpion is connected to an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man 45 years and older and also with a Aries Leo and uh, with a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man you are now protecting yourself from these people for whatever they have done there was some trickery it's like as if some money was supposed to come to you and um, they're kind of playing some trickery but it is going to be released the money is going to be um, in your account okay so let's see what is going on some of you are dealing with a young Pisces cancer or scorpion okay and this young person have worked with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius but it is as if um, these are karmatic issues that you're dealing with now this person is coming up as a child or she's coming up as a partner but whoever this person is this person is in the reverse this is a young Pisces cancer scorpion person it's as if an ending is coming between her and an Aries Leo or Sagittarius now this Aries Leo and Sagittarius for some of you it could be an issue on the work floor but it could be another issue where there was some situation where these two try to do something deceptive there is some um, you are having some regrets about some money because there was some trickery or having some regrets about some money because there was some trickery um, there was uh, some trickery at play but the wheel of fortune is going to bring back this money to you and it could happen for some of you in the second week okay the wheel of fortune is going to bring back this money to you now some of you are um, dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn on the work floor this person is uh, between the ages of 18 and 45 it can be a woman as best as it can be a man so whatever is transpiring between you and this person I'm seeing that um, you are um, 
whatever is transpiring this person could be winning over you because of something this person could be definitely winning over you because of something because um, there is um, could have been a legal suit and this person is winning over you because this person showed their hands and by showing their hands they're saying hey listen whatever this trick was I'm showing my hand this is who I am and this is what I'm all about so whatever as transpiring and whatever happens there you are seeing that whatever the situation is in the resolution some of you have made a decision you have made a decision to end a relationship with 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 a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius 45 years and older some of you make a decision to end a relationship between a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man that is 45 years and older it's, it's as if you make this decision because you realize that these people were being very very deceptive so um, some of you could have been dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 you release yourself from this person some of you um, in the third week could be going in the mode of uh, just going in yourself asking for help um, asking for divine healing you are pre planning and preparing to go forward in your life and this is going to be good some of you are um, um, you know praying for healing for your mom or a sister that is a Taurus that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you are trying to protect this person however way you can okay so whatever is transpiring is as if this person whoever this person is they are coming up in your life and you are protecting them so some of you who had for girlfriends who are between the age of 18 and 45 or this could be if it's not your girlfriends it's your sisters or brother what you are doing is that you have some regrets about both of them it could be that these two people were your friends and you have some regrets about both of them so what you're doing is that you're basically making a decision to cut them out of your life in whatever way you're definitely cutting them out of your life and you're standing your ground against these two people and say no um, this is where it ends no so there's definitely a transition that is going to be coming in if you have a child or a sister or a brother that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this could be also someone who is a friend or a chemist you have some regrets you make a decision I'm protecting myself from this person some of you who were dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn uh, on the work floor this person has overcome a situation and as win there was some trickery that was played against this person but whatever is transpiring it is time your money um, is going to be getting better your money is uh, definitely going to be getting better okay so this is good Wow it's as if I went so fast let me um, look back so in the second week the wheel of fortune comes in the wheel of fortune is going to bring you some financial um, stability this is coming from it could be a sister if you're 45 years and older if it's not a sister it could be a situation with your supervisor who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion and you are going to be winning um, an issue between this person you're going to be receiving some money definitely um, in the third week whatever trickery that was going on the trickery has to do with a, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and whatever this trickery was it was with money and um, there was an older woman that plays uh, this could be a supervisor or someone else um, and it could be a mother figure also but it's as if you're taking yourself away from this situation and you're saying hey I'm, I'm taking the high road with this situation because definitely what is happening is that you're standing your grounds you're standing your grounds against um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person whoever this person is your um, these are people 45 years and older and you're keeping them at bay whoever they are you decided I no longer wants to deal with you I no longer wants to be in the same room as you or breathe the same energy of you I am keeping you people at bay now these two people are coming up they could be on the work floor they could be friends they could be family but I'm not seeing them as being family I'm seeing these are people on the work floor or situations um, out of your control that you have to deal with these people and you're definitely definitely keeping them at bay 
a decision uh, needs to be made and some of you are taking the time off to go in a, a quietness to make a decision okay so a decision needs to be made you're going in quietness to make this decision and whatever the decision that you're making this decision has to do with a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay there are some regrets but let it go because this month is going to bring you some money that was stolen uh, or some money um, it's gonna bring you some money okay now we are working with the hidden rooms and we have the art prints the art prints now the energy of the heart prints is it is spirit communicates um, pay attention so um, you are deliberate you have the energy of number 11 and this is good because what is transpiring is that um, it's as if it's showing you a way forward okay it's as if it's showing you a way forward and as I've always said to people uh, that is for it is the energy of four so there is going to be a transformation I'm seeing some of you taking the time going with it and there is definitely going to be the energy of transformation okay the energy of the heart is here whenever the heart is here it is spirit trying to communicate with you so pay attention sometimes if you're walking outside sometimes you might see things twice sometimes you might see the same bird sometimes but whatever it is spirit is trying to get your attention so it could come through numbers and all different sort of um, ways but the arc prince and the arc prince is is just like the heart is always wisdom it's always inner guidance and your spirit guides are going to be protecting you in this month now we have the angels of Atlantis and you guys have Archangel Raphael a cleansing is coming in for you guys so you guys have Archangel Raphael a cleansing is definitely coming in for you guys whatever the issue is whatever that was transpiring there is definitely a cleansing that is coming in for you guys and this is going to be wonderful and positive because Archangel Raphael is the angels of healing call upon Archangel Raphael into this month because he is going to be bringing in wonderful cleansing and cleaning that is going to be coming in your life I'm loving this especially when Archangel Raphael comes up it is all about stripping everything cleansing for the, the Christmas and healing situations so again you have the energy of number 15 the master the energy of the master of um, deception so some of you are definitely going to be dealing with the energy of the master of deception whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring the energy of the master of deception is coming in be aware and align yourself because whatever this energy is is that you are going to have to be dealing with the master of deception so you have to be open up and you have to be seen uh, and, and looking at the details of things because there is a master at deception that is plain number 15 is going to be your energy vibration so it is 4 6 and 15 that you guys are going to be working with 4 6 and 15 be aware of that master of deception is here so you have to be on your toes in the month of uh, September then we have the five of winter the five of winters always walking away from this honesty association realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for you for your happiness something that is not with effort okay so it's all about walking away from the deception walking away from the deception oh my god so it's about cleansing ending healing something because it's all about walking away from dishonest association so it's all about walking away from dishonest association in this month and this is going to be wonderful and very very positive this is a message from the fairy that is coming up for you guys ladies and gentlemen I want to advise you to really go within and look within because it's a month of healing and it's a month of you deciding to make a difference in your life and this difference that you're making in your life is that you're deciding to walk away from deception and remove yourself from deceptive people and realizing that life is about um, surprising things but whenever we stand with people of deception it's not good 
ladies and gentlemen what you need to do is basically um, what is best is that you guys basically um, try and heal situations in your life it's a, a month go and listen to the extended reading the link is down here check out the moon reading and there is also an extended day on the moon reading the moon reading <laughs>